A seizure is a sudden, uncontrolled electrical disturbance which occurs in the brain. Though seizures are mostly associated with epilepsy, it is not necessary that everyone who experiences seizure have epilepsy. There are different kinds of seizures and it affects people in different ways. The symptoms and severity of seizures ranges from person to person. The type of seizure depends on where it starts in the brain and how far it spreads. The majority of seizures endure between 30 seconds and 2 minutes. A seizure lasting more than 5 minutes is considered a medical emergency. People with recurrent seizures are most commonly diagnosed with epilepsy. Seizures can occur as a result of stroke, a head injury, a meningitis infection or another condition. However, the exact cause of seizure is mostly unknown. The symptoms of seizure can range from mild to severe depending upon the factors like type, age and location in the brain. However, some common symptoms can include confusion which is mostly temporary, a staring spell, uncontrollable jerking movement of the arms and legs, loss of consciousness, cognitive or emotional symptoms such as fear and anxiety. Seizures are usually classified as generalized and focal depending upon where and how the abnormal brain activity starts. Focal seizures. The abnormal electrical activity in one part of the brain causes focal seizures. It may or may not cause loss of consciousness. It can be divided into two categories. Focal seizure with impaired awareness where an individual may lose awareness of their surroundings, look into space and fail to respond normally in the situation. Focal seizures without loss of consciousness where an individual does not lose consciousness but the emotions or the way things seem, smell, feel, taste or sound may change. Generalized seizures. These seizures affect all parts of the brain. It can further be divided into four types. Absence seizure. It is mostly seen in kids where they stare into the space or may have symptoms like slight body movement, lip smacking, eye blinking, etc. Tonic seizures. Tonic seizures cause stiffening of the muscles. These usually affect the muscles in the back, arms and legs. Atonic seizures. It can cause a loss of muscle control which will in turn make you suddenly collapse, fall down or drop your head. Clonic seizures. It is associated with repeated or rhythmic jerking muscle movement and can affect the neck, face and arms on both sides of the body. Myoclonic seizures. It occurs as sudden brief jerks or twitches of your arms and legs. What to do when someone is having a seizure? The first thing you should do is to make sure that the person is in a safe place. Stay with the person until the seizure ends or he or she is fully awake. After it ends, help the person sit in a safe place. Once they are alert and able to communicate, tell them what happened in very simple terms. Comfort them and speak calmly. Keep them and other people calm. Stop cooking or being near open flames. Climbing or height should be avoided. Lock the doors if you tend to wander or become disoriented during or after a seizure. One should see a doctor immediately if the seizure lasts more than 5 minutes. A second seizure occurs very quickly after the first. If you are suffering from high fever, if you have developed heat exhaustion, if you have been diagnosed with diabetes, if you have the tendency of hurting yourself during the seizure. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.